right, welcome back. Welcome back to LCS TV Plus. And today I'm going to teach you how to store your Kusama on your Ledger Nano S slash X. Before we even start that process, we want to make sure that the firmware is up to date. So make sure you do that before you even start this. Um, I do note I do want to comment that uh, some subscribers on my previous video saying that there was like some type of error where the ledger couldn't pop up. So I just went back on and now I experienced it. Um, I want to appreciate y'all that's in the comment section below that's telling me this. And um, also join my Discord. Um, if you join my Discord, I got the link in the link code in the description section below. So you can alert me on certain stuff where I can uh, go ahead and get up to date um, on tutorial videos to try to uh, solve the issue or problem for y'all. You know, this channel is to solve loopholes in the cryptocurrency space. So people who don't understand certain things, I'm always here to bring tutorials so you can always be ahead of the game. Also, another announcement, beware of scammers. So if there's any scammers impersonating me in the comment section below, just know that's not me. I'm verified at um, LCS TV Crypto. Also, um, I created a Theta TV, same name, LCS TV Crypto. So the, uh, the Theta TV channel is gonna be my backup channel. So if anything happens to this YouTube channel, if YouTube take it, take it down or anything like that, just know that I'm not giving YouTube another chance. Um, I'm gonna be over at Theta TV, so it's gonna be cross platforms. So both content will be uploaded at the same time cross platforms. But just letting you know, if anything happens to this channel, I'm gonna be over at Theta because it's a decentralized platform. So just keep in mind that. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go to polkadot.js.org. I'll leave the link in the description section below so you won't, um, misspell anything to get to it um, and then once this pops up it's going to have it's going to ask you multiple options of what you want to do so we're going to go to app wallet hosted so we're going to go to polkadot.js.org slash apps and it's going to take you to this main page which is the polkadot explorer what you want to do is go to this left hand corner you want to switch the parity network to uh, kusama make sure it's hosted by parity and then we're going to just hit switch Once that switch, let it load for a minute. And then it's going to take you to the Kusama Explorer. So what you want to do before you even start messing around with this, you want to go ahead and um, have your account ready. So you're going to go to accounts. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. Then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see manage hardware connections. So they have this setting at default. So you want to make sure that you save this setting. I'm going to switch it to attach ledger web usb and then it has this pop-up here and i think this is the issue that people was telling me about just uh just keep they saying that it's like an experimental stage and it may have some issues remaining um just just uh just don't send a lot just test with a small amount before you just send a lot out you know what i'm saying so you want to start off with a small amount just to test to see if the process is working. You wanna make sure your seed phrase from your ledger is working so you won't um, lose your funds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, save. And then when I, after I hit save, I'm gonna go back to accounts. Then I'm gonna go to add ledger. Now this is the part where people was telling me, uh, they were saying that they didn't see ledger, they didn't see their ledger pop up on their screen. So what you would have to do is put a name in. So I'm going to put um, Nano X. So I just put the name and then I chose, uh, and this is another thing, and this is why I'm breaking it down in depth. You want to make sure that whatever you're choosing, whatever account type, um, you could choose whatever you want, like you could mix it up, but you just want to make sure that you remember those, um, you remember your account type and your uh, address index because. Um, it's like it's like a different folder, you know, for each one. So if you try to combinate them, you want to make sure that you remember which um, which account type and address index that you chose on your ledger, so it can pop up your uh, Kusama balance. Same it goes with the Polkadot too. So I'm, I have mine on zero. So I'm gonna hit save, and as you see. Um, as it popped up, I just sent, uh, this is just like the remaining amount. Like I just got a small amount here 
since they've been doing like this uh, experimental, since they said they got like this experimental issue. But as you see, my Nano X name popped up right on the left hand corner. And then as you go over here, it shows your balance. And then it shows all these other information. Now, if you want to deposit your Kusama from your uh, exchange, you just click this. And what you want to do is this is your uh, public address. So you can actually just click this. It's like a shortcut clipboard. This is your public recipient address. Then this is the name of the ledger that you have that you set for your account. Uh, you can set up tags so it can kind of organize uh, each account that you have on here. And then you can actually send it out. So uh, when you send send out, sorry about that, guys. I have to cut the video. So I do want to add some Kusama balance just to show you the sending process. So I got 0 0.24, right? And you remember how I said the process where you want to go to Nano X. So you may experience this, but if you try to click send from here, you'll notice that the second box is not edible. So what you want to do is cancel, exit this out, go back to my accounts on this page. Then you want to hit send right next to balances. And now everything, this section right here where you want to send it out is edible. So I'm going to go to Qcoin, take my uh, public recipient address for Qcoin for Kusama. Going to go back here, paste it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them out. Now, this won't be enough for me to send it out. Uh, I'm just doing this to instruct y'all, you know, how to do the sending process. So 0 0.24. Then you're going to leave this default. This is on. Then make transfer. And then uh, you're going to authorize the transaction. So it's in queue. Uh, this is going to take the process through your ledger. So uh, this is default. This is off. Then you want to hit sign and submit. And then now you want to go through your ledger. Um, you should see the instructions on your ledger Nano X. Then you're going to go through every step and process until the end where you hit accept so it can send it out. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button, turn on notification bells, leave me a like for the support, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. And also, if you want any other more tutorials, leave it in the comment section below. I'll catch y'all on the next one. This is Oliver, and I'm signing out.